Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on my final video in the series of uh, Shelly Learns to Homebrew. Um, it has been a whirlwind. It's been really interesting and fun. I've enjoyed the heck out of it and it's been really fun to see people's comments and just to see how many people had time to sit and watch. Um, so thank you. Um, let's see, first to begin, I want to say that regardless of how this beer tastes, I haven't tried it yet, so you're going to see the first sip and the look on my face and know whether or not it worked. Um, but regardless of how it tastes, I learned something and um, I tried something new and um, what did I learn? I learned that it does help to take really good notes, so if for some reason this didn't turn out, um, I know maybe where I went wrong in the process. And I also learned not to be afraid to try new things. And um, I think finally I learned that uh, really cleaning and sanitizing key number one for producing a, a good beer. So with that being said, um, here we go. Wow. Holy cow. It actually tastes a lot like official. So I'm kind of stoked about the fact that I now have a bunch of beer in my fridge. <laughs> um, yay. Wow. I can taste the tangerine. So the tangerine peel definitely had an impact, which is good to know. Um, now it kind of makes me wonder what other kinds of flavors I could play around with. Um, but yeah, overall, not too shabby. I'm stoked. So um, I would say that um, if I did it differently next time, what would I do? I would probably choose to um, construct my own mash ton, louder ton situation so I don't have to do the brew in a bag. So watch out, General Store. I'm coming for you. Um, otherwise, um, Boy, it doesn't really taste like I have to figure out if anything went wrong. So I'm enjoying and I hope that you enjoy your homebrew adventures as well. And who knows, maybe you'll see me again in the future. Cheers.